I'm Zoe Robinson, I'm Head of Wardrobe Wisdom at The Good Wardrobe, an online conscious fashion hub. I'm going to show you how to do a simple seam repair. This could be used for um, repairing a seam in a shirt or even lining or a dress or trousers. Anything where the seam in your garment has come apart and the stitches have come undone. This is quite a special garment. I got it from a £5 sale or kilo sale in Bristol at Emmaus, run by Kex Clothing. and. Um, this would have gone into landfill had I not or someone else not saved it. Uh, it's a 1950s dress, homemade, and because it had quite a few areas of damage actually, there's a few places where its stitching's come undone. So I'm really pleased that I can show you how to do a bit of a repair on it today. Here is the um, shoulder seam that's come undone, just up here. I'm going to first uh, get some thread ready. Normally I would go for a thread that's just a fraction darker than the material itself, but for this one I want to try and match the existing thread. The tools that we need for this repair are a pair of snips or scissors. We may need a stitch ripper, depends on how we get on. Thread and a needle. I'm just going to cut off some thread with my snips. I'm going to choose a needle thread the needle, which is always fiddly, wind the thread around my finger and roll it and then we've got a knot on the end. So I'm going to put that to one side for a minute. I also forgot to say that we need pins. I'm going to pin the seam together and then I can do a back stitch through. So first of all I need to get the seam lined up and take my first pin. You probably only need a couple of pins in here actually. Okay, so we're just checking that it's pretty much lined up on the back because we want the seam to be as flat as possible when it's finished. Um, a good iron at the end will always help. So I'm going to take the needle and thread. And I've already secured the other stitches. So the stitches that had come undone, um, I've secured them. But what we want to do to start off is to sew through them just to make sure they don't come undone again. So we make our first stitch back into the stitches that are already there and we're going to do a back stitch with this. So what that means is you do a slightly longer stitch than you might normally and then you stitch back into the space behind the thread that's coming up going backwards hence back stitch. So we just keep going along the line, the original line of stitching. So it helps if you can kind of pull it slightly taut with, with this hand. And that helps to get the stitches fairly straight and in the right place. And this little pin is falling out. We don't really need that anymore, so I'll take that out. I'm going to check the other side. Okay, we've nearly reached the end and we want to do the same thing. So when we started, we stitched into the stitches that had come undone and we're going to do that at the end as well. So you can see I'm stitching into that original stitch and then to secure it, I'm just going to make another small stitch behind that, keep our big loop pop the needle through that twice, pull that taut and then snip off the end. And once um, that's had a good iron, that's it. So there's your repaired seam.